In East Lansing, Michigan, a mother gives the identical medication to two of her children. One immediately falls sick while the other remains healthy. In Durham, North Carolina, over $1 million of valuable drug product are destroyed, not only causing financial loss to the company, but also denying the much needed drug to desperate patients. In Newark, New Jersey, the FDA inspects a pharmaceutical company requesting records which have mysteriously disappeared. Was this an intentional company cover-up or was it human error? Join me. Perhaps you will be able to solve a mystery. The place, East Lansing, Michigan, November 28th, time 7.45 a.m. A woman named Emerald McDuffie administers prescription medication to her two sons, Kevin and Kenny. They are both suffering from the same flu and have seen the same doctor who prescribed the same medication on separate prescriptions for each child. Here you go, babe. Okay, take the medicine, Kevin. I I'm going to be late for work if you don't take the medicine. You saw how good your brother did it, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, open and swallow. Come on, open and swallow. That's a good boy. Oh, that'll make you feel better, babe. Mwah. All right, let's go. Ten Better minutes wait. later, Kevin is on the floor in severe pain. Mom, come quick! What's the matter? Kevin's sick. Kevin? Kevin. Kevin, baby. Kevin? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Call 911 quick! Please, Kenny, 911! Oh, Kevin! I oh, just couldn't oh believe God. what was happening, oh you know? God. I didn't know why Kevin was on the floor in pain like that why it had happened. He looked so pathetic in the hospital bed. They pumped his stomach. They said he was poisoned. I couldn't figure it out. He hadn't eaten anything except cereal that morning, the same as Kenny, and he took his medicine, the same as his brother. I was just sick about it. I had to find out what had happened. The doctor told me that the only conclusion they could come to was that the prescription medication he took was contaminated. How could that have happened? What Mrs. McDuffie didn't know is that an event took place months earlier at the production facility of Barrick Laboratories that would result in her son's sickness. Hey Henry, look at this. This result's way out of spec. Unknown to Mrs. McDuffie, the tablets that Kevin swallowed were super potent. Testing reveals that some of the tablets are out of specification. This important fact is masked through the company's practice of averaging results. Since no SOP exists for investigating single values out of specification, the batch is okayed and released. The matter is further complicated when an unsuspecting pharmacist opens a new bottle of tablets not knowing of the excessive potency of the medication. Mrs. McDuffie received the prescription, placing her trust in the pharmaceutical company and her neighborhood pharmacist. How could a company be so irresponsible? Didn't they realize that children were going to take this drug? If you ask me, they should put them in jail and throw away the key. They're no better than common criminals.